when you're told that you're not going to have time with a child and then you get day after day after day with them, it just, you're constantly reminded that they're here and they're with us. With Arabella, we were um, strongly encouraged uh, to terminate the pregnancy. We were told that um, no one else had actually decided after this diagnosis to continue. We had a daughter who was um, almost two years old at the time of that first pregnancy. They told us, you know, think about how this is going to affect her if you're carrying this baby that you know is going to die. We left that appointment telling them, no, we're going to give this baby a chance to fight. And they told us, we'll see you back in a couple weeks, you're gonna change your mind. Because EVC is somewhere between 30 to 50% lethal. And in their opinion, given all the cases they had seen up to that point, was that that chest wasn't going to grow, if it was gonna grow, it was gonna grow very marginally up uh, past that point. Mm. In our experience, that lung uh, in both Bella and Shiloh the rib cage continued to grow mm -hmm. so when they were born it was still smaller but it continued to grow and that's what allowed um, or supported life she is now almost three years old and she had her um, heart repair surgery her lungs look great she's hitting all of her milestones either on time or early and she really is just a picture of best case scenario for ebc so the new daughter is Shiloh, and she, like Bella, of course, has EVC. And, and we knew there was a high probability of that going into Shiloh. And a lot of people probably would have told us, why are you doing that? But it was our opinion that, you know, Bella was perfect. We wouldn't trade Bella for a child that doesn't have EVC. We were even given the option, you know, you can mm -hmm. do IVF and you can test the embryos to see if they have EVC and only implant ones that don't. And so if you want more children, there's ways to avoid it. Given the blessing that Bella's been in our life, we just, we weren't afraid of that. We weren't afraid, we, and we recognized, although that risk existed, what is the risk? It's the risk of having another Bella. Well, gee, we'll take that. We like, we love Bella. <laughs> you know, it's okay. We've seen great things happen. Um, with our first daughter and it's not without hope. It was interesting to see though how um, that experience with Bella had even changed their attitudes and the way they talked about Shiloh when we were pregnant with her because with Bella they were always telling us the worst case scenario. They kept talking to us about the day she was born and how she would be taken away and assessed and you know she's either going to be immediately deemed incompatible with life and brought back to us basically to die in our arms or maybe they would have to give her oxygen support and then determine whether or not you know they were going to be able to help her but with Shiloh there is none of that discussion and in fact we sometimes felt like but you do understand that Bella is the best case scenario and we're not guaranteed you know, the same outcome uh, with Shiloh, which we knew going in. Her rib cage is much smaller than Bella's is. And so she works quite a bit harder um, to breathe. And it's a delicate balance right now between um, helping out her heart and helping out her lungs because sometimes those two things, what you would do for one would hurt the other. Shiloh, she's she's on her own own little pace of development, and uh, that's a slower pace. And we honestly don't really care because she's she's alive and she's doing well. She's not in the hospital. She's not on oxygen support, and those are our victories. Uh, Shiloh means peace, and uh, going into deciding to get pregnant throughout the pregnancy with her when we discovered she had EBC. We had a great deal of peace. Let it play out, let God do his work, because oftentimes, um, in their experience, it leads to a certain outcome, um, but not in all cases. You're in for an awesome ride. Um, getting, getting to watch these kids fight and surpass challenges and difficulties and um, seeing them just so full of life is such an awesome privilege, and you're not gonna regret it.